So I'll get in, in now to a, a description of uh, some of the design ideas uh, that we came up with. We, we learned also that the, the, this shopping center, I don't know if you can see it here, the existing one-story mm -hmm. shopping center might actually be purchased by the city. Um, negotiations are underway. Our, our attitude about that originally was that this was going to be around for, for quite a while, but we learned that this might actually change ownership fairly soon, so we got all excited. And, uh, and so, that, so you have here a situation where you have a block that has two historic buildings remaining on it, largely empty. This block, and this is, this is Madison here, and this is Wesley. Um, you have your historic bank buildings and existing buildings here. This may go away. Uh, this is block has been largely demolished. There, there are a few remaining historic buildings. You all can have a, 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 a complete slate almost for creating a new town center over time. So we looked at a couple of key ideas. Where should buildings go? Where should your new public out outdoor space go? What should we do with the streets? Let's talk about the streets first. You saw, you were introduced to the idea of back in diagonal parking uh, over on a hill. Well, we, we stole their idea and applied it here in Madisonville as well. We'd like to introduce the idea of back in parking on Madison and on Wetzel in, these, uh, in this section right here, around your 100% corner. You can only have the diagonal back in parking on one side of the street, so we're proposing the southern side of the street where most of the redevelopment will occur. And then on the eastern side of Wetzel, uh, so that the, 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 the lanes are aligned properly at the intersection. What does that do? That suddenly creates, it narrows the street, slows the traffic down, uh, as uh, Rick was describing earlier. Um, you, you definitely know you're in a different place now, you're in a town center, and um, you have opportunities to park right in front of the store you want to go into in the future. You get a 50% boost in number of parking spaces per linear foot along the street. Yes, so we're introducing yes. a tremendous amount of parking capacity into the <coughs> um, So then we began to look at the placement of buildings. We want buildings to face the street and address the street with ground floor uh, shops, restaurants, and right in this core of your downtown area here. And um, we began to look at the idea of creating an open space that was an open space created by pulling uh, the new buildings back about 30 feet from the right-of-way line of the street, so the buildings would actually be in this location 40 feet back from the curb line. And what that would create is a very deep um, area that where you could have a public open space that could either be uh, built and, and, and maintained by developers or it could be a public park space and we wanted to create something that was unique for Madisonville, that was different than uh, other urban squares in the city. In this case, this would be a, a, a space that could be used uh, in a, on a, a casual, everyday basis as a place for outdoor dining, uh, sitting in park benches, um, under trees, just relaxing. Um, it's, it could be um, also because you have the diagonal parking there, on a special day, perhaps the farmer trucks would come in and back up and you could set up a farmer's market all along this entire length right here, where you could uh, buy the produce and the cheese and so on. Now there's enough space here where you could set up a little stage and have outdoor performances. You could, uh, there's enough space here for an outdoor art exhibit or so on. So it becomes a public space that is highly visible very safe because it's along the street and people can, they can see what's going on all the time. There's a sense of ownership here as well. What it also does is it opens up a vista from Madison to your beautiful library. In a sense, these buildings are, are set back as far as your library is today. 
and it, it then it, it, it then creates a beautiful urban space here with a focus on the bank building. So if you're standing here, you'll see the facade of the bank building at the end of the, of the uh, open space. And um, if you were only to build one or two buildings in the next 10 or 20 years, and you could build these two buildings right here. You have your two historic buildings that are remaining across the street. You have the beautiful bank building here. And you, you could put in the diagonal parking in this open space. You would have a place that's unique to Madisonville. With very with without having to create a whole mess of new buildings and spending a fortune, you could uh, concentrate on trying to get this done first, um, and that would create an identity and place of focus for your community right away. Then you could begin to fill out these blocks with additional buildings on an incremental basis, uh, growing out from the center here, and over time begin to build up your community. We're thinking the buildings are two and three story uh, commercial structures. You could have, we're, we're encouraging retail and restaurant uses on the ground floor. You could have a upper floor office space or residential units. Um, the parking is provided on street, as we mentioned, but also in parking lots mid block behind the, the commercial buildings. This parking would probably be for office tenants and residences primarily. Most of your shopping and commercial parking would be on the street. So what, we, what you're beginning to see is we're, we're, we're really concentrating on Wessel here. You have the strength here and an anchor happening up here. Possibility that this building will be purchased, maybe turned into a market hall or something. You have the strengths down here with a new initiatives underway. Uh, we actually took, we, uh, we decided we would seed our scope of services and locate your new fire hall, which is located right here, <laughs> which would be, be a three-bay garage um, and uh, on this old laundry building site. And so this street is becoming uh, increasingly important, mm -hmm. and we're seeing then the west that Madison would build out incrementally from this core and just uh, happen almost organically over time as well as the, as the as Madison strengthens as a district. So uh, we did a model of the before conditions and the after conditions where you can see this new split public space here. Um, it's almost like a miniature Piazza de Rona and Rome <laughs> with, with uh, some key visual anchors at the end and then um, slowly building out Madison as well to create a little uh, Madison World Town Center. So that is where we are right now. And um, so I, I guess, uh, should we break now and just uh, invite people to come up so you, uh, you can talk individually with design team members um, for both communities and also the traffic uh, group over there as well. Okay. Yeah.